Hi. Hi. So pretty flowers. Yeah. And, and chives. Uh, and we've tied it up around here. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's looking quite so like a step towns yard anymore. That bit there is still. Just that's going to the. That's, that's going to the bin tomorrow. That's going to go to the bin, and then that'll be it more or less. <coughs> Start doing the rockery and everything. Bob's now got more of a sort of workbench. It's more work, workspace. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so, it's looking yes. quite Oh, good. and there's some more plants at the book. Out and about. Yeah, These... grow up. Climbers. Fish. Oh, just very quickly. I don't know if, uh, just, I'm going to say this just in case Andy wants to put the footage in. The kids, obviously, oh, Francesca's yeah. been up to... Um, She's been up to see Maddie this weekend for Easter. They went to Alex's grandma's house yesterday and they were baking a, a traditional Spanish Easter dessert called a mona. And they did a little bit of film of the mona being baked, which we will put in now. Francesca's brought us some home to try. It's in the kitchen. Cool. So we'll show you what that it's, looks like. It's like a cake. Yeah, it's a bit sort of cross between a cake and a bread. Is it like what's going to do away? Or a whatever bit, it's yeah. called. Yeah, but which, it's is the, it, which is a three kings but, cake. But a mona is traditionally in Spain for Easter for the kids. And when they're at school, <clears> they actually take a mona to school the, the day that they finish for Easter holidays or something like that. And they all eat it together. But we'll go and have a look at that because uh, she said they're very nice. So we'll uh, see... I could choose what I wanted on it, so I chose cherry and orange, which might be a bit of a strange combination, but... So these are the mona. Oh, that's mine, because it's got oranges. Can you see it's got oranges and uh, cherries on it? So, shall I just try a bit? Looks <coughs> like it's got black pudding in the middle. It's got chocolate in it. Ah, Nutella. Mmm. Try it, Dad. Mmm. Lovely. Not with me. I didn't think it would be your thing because it's got uh, Nutella in it. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. If we do one. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice. We are on our way to the opening day of Grand China in La Siesta and hopefully it's good. Loads of new menu stuff. We should have gone live. That's, oh, that's, that's myth. Just, it smells good. It but listen. I can actually smell it now. If it ain't good, you ain't going to see this. <laughs> it will be good, I'm sure. Very noisy, don't even can hear me, no mics, no GoPro, we're just winging it. The chilli sauce, there's always been chilli sauce in it. No. It's crunchy chilli sauce, not massively spicy, full of taste. Delicious. Absolutely. We're going to get another one. been here since seven they've been queuing out the door since before we got here it's open today we've gone with the 20 20 euro menu del dia type thing and i'm giving it one of them i'm giving it two of them it's up there for me actually the price has gone up for the menu del dia so's the quality and the taste absolutely fantastic all i can say is hi bob hi bob hi gang Sorry. I crap you, two thumbs fresh, so get yourself here. Yeah.
Last night we went to Grand China. We will, I think we will do a new video on that one. Uh, uh, new menu price has gone up, but we've got a bit of footage. Very noisy. Then we, we got there at seven, we booked a table, they were queuing up when we got there, and they were queuing when we left. Um, but then again, we did do a post on Facebook saying they were opening yesterday and it had over 5,000 views, so I couldn't understand why they were looking at this. Mixed grill tonight for a change, shepherd's pie tomorrow. We've been busy in the garden, the garden's almost finished, and we'll show you that tomorrow. I've made a rockery today. And I've cut my finger and it's all bruised on the end and I think we'll have a black nail. And I put, made a fence, put a fence up, put a fence up, and the gate. Mixed through is a bit of steak, home battered, beer battered onion rings, some mushrooms, <coughs> some sausages. We went to Essex Butchers, recommended by Rob Terry. Yeah, that guy keeps popping up on the videos. We went there, they're moving to Los Montesinos, they're near. Donya Pepper, I think it is, which is near Tesco, the food store. We also went to Iceland today, that's closed today, and we found out that um, the woman that we speak to, she's actually been transferred to Tesco, so it's good to know how it work. Steak, ribs, onion, beer battered onion rings, mushrooms, chicken breast, sausages, Lincolnshire sausages, I think they are, from Essex Butchers. Um, the Ontinient Morcia, the black pudding, the Spanish black pudding. And I can't remember what else. Lamb's liver. Lamb's liver, thank you, which we got from there as well. Oh, and we, oh, so she's little, little, little... Baby roast potatoes. Raised, yes. And also, the work that we've been doing, fingers crossed, may have calmed down or may have reduced the amount of noise that noisy dog makes. We hope. Unfit fat kit. Right, I'm going to show you what's new in the garden, in Helen's garden. I'm definitely not going to show you what's in my garden because my garden's a complete hole. My fault, I'm over there. Uh, new fence. Helen's undecided as yet whether she wants to paint it white. Um, so that's kept me busy. Came from Leroy Merlin. I don't know if we showed, I don't know if we showed the other editions, but if you look at the uh, statues, they were from a garden centre just outside Los Montesinos, heading towards La Marquesa. All the walls have now been painted inside and out. They've done the gate, they took the coverage off the gate. Since we did that, and that the dogs can't get in this area which Kylo the crazy boy has quieted him down no end because he can't see people and can't bark at him uh, this has been moved so it's more central and Helen's built herself a rockery we've still got some stones left as you, as you can see there's best parts of three quarters of a ton there at least which will probably get used if anybody, I don't know if it's the last one. So this is now segregating to stop the dogs running around and everything else. Um, and they've got some climbers there. It'll smell nice when, when it's finished. I'm going to take you around to the other side, show you what we've done with Bob's as well. Yeah, the house is looking a lot better. I've still got a few lights to fit. I fitted the one over there. I've got one to fit up there and sort the cables out. <clears throat> There's another one to go over here and there's one at the front to go as well. So, so still a few bits of rubbish to do. Ah, I need to put some pallets there. But yeah. Coming along really well. Cottage pie, done. Wednesday, guess where I am? Airport. Well, I'm at the airport. My old man's come, first time since last year. He's here for a week, so no doubt you guys will see him 
as we do our things, including the tapas run. <laughs> no happy Friday because it's not Friday, no happy Saturday because ah, we're in the vets obviously and we're in the vets because somebody's lost one of his lives yesterday. Yeah, Jones, eh? the kitten, he's not even one yet, got run over. So that's why it weren't happy Friday yesterday. Um, he's coming home now. He's a bit battered and bruised. But it, he's alive. Good. It looks he's like alive. Um, he was under a car and the car set off. Well, you should, we, we can see the marks on the and floor. The blood and everything else. Um, so it's just one of those things. Um, we've seen him under the cars before, so we know that he's. He's, t he's terrible for it. Ho hopefully, he's learned his lesson and yeah. he won't do it again. Um, <coughs> he's had x rays and all the scans. I'm dreading what my bill's going to be, but we'll find out in a minute. And his head's a bit battered and bruised. Yeah. So we'll show we'll, you later when we get home. Yeah, just don't be surprised if he looks a little bit. He looks like he's um, been in boxing ring with Rocky Balboa. Whatever he's called. Lucky Balboa. Balboa, that's him. And we managed to get him here. Literally, we know we got him here within 10 minutes of it happening. Yeah, because we'd seen him just before we went to work and we'd not been at work very long before my dad rang up and said, And my dad had seen him after that, by the way. There's yeah. something wrong with Jones, eh? So we, and we luckily were two minutes away from home <coughs> and the vet's is literally two minutes away from home, so we got him here really quickly. And it's 24 hour hospital, which yeah. is fantastic.